Turkus Parallelipipedes is the most common stack beetle um, in Europe and it's very easy to breed. It's a small species but it's fun to see how it develops also in small uh, containers and wherever you are breeding stag beetles they are there because they come from outside and look for good food and that is especially white rotten wood and it's also easy to breed them if you find them somewhere and here in Switzerland it's uh, really the most common stag beetle that we have and whenever, wherever there is some um, white rotten wood or old branches lying around you will see this Dorcus uh, Paralelipipedes now look what I made for them, I just presented them some logs of wood and you see what they did <laughs> they made a lot of tunnels in it, you know it's completely there's a lot of tunnels going down and here you see a female just inside of this little log here, probably she's looking for a good place to lay an egg or something like that and you'll see whether we can take her out here just to see uh, the lady of Dorcus Paralelipipedes they are pretty small, you know, that's not a big um, Dorcus as I told you already but of course they can be bigger um, then this one, this is 1.6 millimeter. this is a really small one, but it's a nice uh, European uh, Dorcus, and look what they did here, this is really incredible how they dug out all the tunnels here, out of this wood pieces, and now let's have a look whether we find some larvae here too, um, this branch here must be totally hollow until now, Look, it looks like, like a flute <laughs> with all the holes in it here that the females and the have drilled into that wood piece. Let's see whether we can open it and see whether there are some larvae inside here. Looks a bit wet, so let's see whether something going on inside of these wood pieces here. They have been in the cellar where it's pretty cool and they don't grow too fast. And let's see whether we have a larvae here somewhere. But it's definitely a tunnel system here. And let's have a look into this piece of wood here. Yeah, now here is very typical. Here is um, a larvae of Dorcus Paralelipipedes. And here, if you look here a little bit higher up, where is it? I must uh, check out. There we can see a beautiful little egg. You see that here? That's the egg here of Dorcus Paralelipipedes a very small larvae, it's, uh, I think it's an L2 it can be uh, confused uh, with uh, the larvae of the big stag beetle of Lucanus cervus, of the real stag beetle because they, in the small stages of Lucanus cervus they are practically the same as the one that you see here this small larvae of Dorcus parallel pipetes, but when you see them in a branch over the surface of the soil, then it's mostly Dorcus parallel pipetes. And if it's a if it's a larvae deep down in the ground on the root system of a trees, then it's most often uh, the stag beetle, the normal stag beetle. So you see there, we just put some white rotten wood pieces into a, a terrarium and they start breeding. Here's another one, very small larvae. Now this is an L1, just came out of the egg some days ago. And this is the perfect uh, 
little terrarium also to to keep the larvae and to wait until they come out. If you have too many of them, you can just let them go outside in the night when they fly away and when they are looking for uh, for other used up branches laying around somewhere where they can uh, lay their eggs. So that's the terrarium for Dorcus Paralleli Pipetes. I don't want to open them all now. Here you see another very small larvae of this nice European lesser. It's also called the lesser stack beetle, the, the little, because it's uh, smaller than the other one. Dorcus Paralleli Pipetes. That's it. Um, if you want to breed them, the larvae, what do I do with them? I just put them, I can put the larvae in this uh, containers with the kimchi that I made for stack beetles. It's a mixture of 50-50 flake soil and kimchi. And here in the 500 milliliter box you can keep around five, um, uh, two to five larvae of parallelly pipetes and they will grow big. Sometimes bigger than in nature because here they all have a good fruit to eat. And um, that's it. They last around one year and the whole life cycle also is finished in a year. So you, it is one of the quicker uh, stag beetles to, to breed in the laboratory. Have fun doing that. Thanks for watching.